Ezra, the newest member of our pack. She's now about four and a half months old. We picked her up near Gallipoli in Turkey back in December. And this is her story. We had spent a few nights in a sea of at on the Dardanelles Strait so we could explore the Anzac and Roman history in the area. We left on the 13th of December 2021, headed along the south coast of Turkey to the port town of Tashuku, where we planned to take a ferry to Cyprus. But not long into our ride on the E87 highway, a tiny little black puppy ran across the road in front of me. I pulled over immediately and walked back to where she was cowering in the gutter, sopping wet and shaking with terror. She let me pick her up and I took her back to my motorbike and popped her in my pillion pooch to ride up to where Stu had pulled over. Weedy and Shadow were riding together on Stu's bike because the weather was so cold and wet. We assumed her mother had to be around somewhere, so I went walking all around the area for a good 45 minutes but couldn't find anyone and we couldn't leave her there. So we took her with us. So she's done 180 kilometers today. Throw her straight in the deep end and she seemed to, well she just passed out and went to sleep. So she had no problems being a little biker dog, did you? But first things first, she needs a serious bath. She's very mucky. She was on the highway and it's just, she was covered in mud and bits of, little bits of rocks from all the spray from the traffic. So we've had the puppy now for two days and we've taken, we've treated her for fleas, got the, uh, the advocate on her. Um, she was covered in fleas, that was easy to fix. We took her to the vet to get her checked out and get some vaccinations and they did a health check on her and tested her for the parvo virus and found out that she was positive to parvo. It pretty much can kill her in five days if um, from when she's diagnosed. So it's pretty quick acting virus. But um, hopefully because we got in so early, we can treat it. So we're gonna to go to Cyprus and then come back here in a month's time and pick her up and hopefully uh, over the next five days with the treatment, she gets through the parvo virus issue. We were so lucky we found Salim, the vet who treated and cared for Azra. It was really hard to leave her, but we had a commitment and this was a reasonable solution. It also made it very clear to us that if she survived, she would join our pack. I mean, she could have crossed that road at any point in front of any vehicle, but it was at that moment in front of me. Salim sent me updates daily with videos and photos so I could see how she was doing. I would fret until I got the message, be relieved for about 10 minutes, and then start fretting again until the next message arrived. So Operation Cyprus was an absolute fail. Me and Janelle are now separated for the next few weeks. But Operation Puppy Pickup is being moved forward. So I've hired a car. So I'm driving a thousand kilometers back to Izmir to pick up little Azra. She's finished her course of medication for parvo virus and she's recovered brilliantly. So um, good news, great news and be great to see her again and bring her back into her new pack. So today's the day. Gonna have breakfast, take the girls out, and I get to go get Azra at 10, after 10 a.m. So very excited. The hotel here are really lovely. They know the story, they know what's happening with uh, Azra. They've been to visit her while we've been away. They really like what we're doing and all the effort we've gone to for Azra and that they wanted us to stay here free of charge. The hospitality here in Turkey has been amazing, especially from uh, pet loving people. There's plenty of animal lovers here in Turkey. To us, they've been really, really wonderful. So fortunately, Janelle can't be here. She uh, She's here in spirit. She's the one who made it happen, made me get the car and get driving over here. So, so she's very much here in spirit. We can't thank Salim enough. He saved Azra's life. 
Okay, so we have Azra back with her pack. Although her pack uh, up on the bed and trying to get away from the highly energetic puppy. She has her Turkish pet passport. It's not an EU pet passport, but it's a Turkish legal document. It covers everything that the EU pet passport covers. But, geez, we've never owned a puppy before, and she's full of energy. With Janelle off in Cyprus, leaving me with the duties, I really think puppy and two dogs, two dogs are easy, puppy, yeah, I can see myself aging 25 years over the next two weeks. Go on, good girl.